A Woman of Good Taste by Millie Johnson Have you ever had a kiss that was so powerful you'd still remember it in all its glorious intensity at 85 when it happened to you at 15? A kiss preserved in tissue in a treasure box in your head where all your most precious memories are kept. Every woman should have a kiss like that to unwrap and savour over and over like a favourite everlasting sweet. Mine happened late, when I was fat, forty and forgotten. All career hopes of being an air hostess gone. My Andy Warhol fifteen minutes of fame bypassed me. I went straight from bud to seed without ever blooming. And there I was, serving up fish and chips for a living. Although I used the word very loosely. I went home every night to a cold bed in a grotty flat, alone, with only the silver fish under the carpet for company. It was a hot summer that year. I slept with the window open and the mosquitoes came and traded their infections for my blood. Then one night, I awoke to find myself being kissed. Not just any old kiss either but one that pulled up nerves from my toes and twanged them like harp strings. A man in black had his arm around my waist and was holding me at a most romantic angle and his moist, moist lips were claiming mine for their own. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I scream? Why wasn't I petrified? A strange man in my bedroom and all, snogging my face off to boot. But I didn't feel in the least afraid. He had a presence, a a commanding, domineering charisma that told me I was helpless in his arms anyway. He could do what he wanted and there wasn't a damn thing I could do about it. 